What's happening, aviation community? Today, I'll get right to the point. I'm coming to you with a little bit of an ask. I'm trying to compile some research to prove a theory that I have. The theory is about training time, how long it takes people to get their license. More specifically, I'm trying to narrow in on how long it takes people to get to solo. I've seen a couple posts lately throughout, throughout social media where people talk about their solo and I see numbers like 40 or 50 hours, stuff like that, and it just blows my mind. Now, I can't say what's right or wrong or how the training world works, but I would love to compile some information to try and understand it better. So if you could, and I'll explain the details here in a minute why, but if you could, in the comments below, give me a little bit of information. Tell me what year you soloed, what airport you soloed from, how many hours it took you to solo, and what type of aircraft you were in. One other piece of information that I think would be helpful if you know it is how many instructors you had during your time. Again, I'm not trying to point to what's right or what's wrong in this situation. I'm just trying to understand it better. So I'll talk about my experience and then I'll give you a little bit of my theory, but please put that information in the comment below and uh, I'll compile it together and then I'll put a video out there with some summaries. So I'll go first, right? I'm Corey. I've done all my training from Sparta 8 Delta 4. I started in 2002, I think, and got my license uh, shortly thereafter when I was 17. I had two instructors in my time uh, who I thought were the greatest instructors ever, Mark Lindsley and Tom Kazura. I flew in a Cessna 150 most of the time. After solo, I converted to a Cessna 152 as that's just the transition that happened in the flight school. I did my solo at right about 10 hours. It might've been nine point something. And I got my license. I didn't ask for this, but I got my license just after 40 hours. I felt like that was kind of normal back then, right? 40 to 50 hours to get your license. Given my criteria, eight Delta four is an uncontrolled airspace. We didn't spend a whole lot of time chit chatting on the ground, got up in the air, did our flying. And uh, I had instructors who had confidence in their ability to teach and confidence in their students. I'm probably getting too far down to uh, some of my theories already, so I'll stop right there. But again, straightforward, plain and simple. Just give me some information so I can compile it. I don't need your name or anything like that, right? Um, if you feel like there's more information you wanna give, like maybe the age you were when you started training, anything of that nature, that'd be awesome too. But really, all I'm doing is trying to compile this base information and understand the variables that are really driving training time. Unfortunately, we all know aviation is not a hobby that's inexpensive. And professional aviation takes the same cost or much more cost than it does to just fly for fun. So for us to foster aviation growth and the continuing of uh, great, uh, this great hobby, we have to be able to control the cost somehow. And training costs are a way to potentially do that. So again, I'm just trying to understand, maybe put a little bit of a package together for people where I can recommend how to go about training if you're just trying to do it as a hobby. Like maybe how you could do it a little less expensively, or maybe you could just understand the cost better or the drivers of the cost better such that you can be successful. So anyways, that's a little bit of rambling on. If you would, please, in the comments below, just drop that information and ask your friends too to do the same thing. Share this video with them, ask them to do the same thing. If I can get a thousand replies, which I know is, would be tremendous, but if I can get a thousand replies, then I feel like I will have the base of information to be able to really come to some conclusions on what's uh, the new norm, what was the norm, what's driving training time, and uh, how we can all be more successful in aviation together. Again, I'm just talking about solo, and if you wanna give me time to your private, that's fine too, uh, but keep it simple. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you all real soon.